uh, the videos I've made so far. Um, I, I want to clear one thing up. I got a comment from somebody saying uh, "great but not real" about my kill switch engage medley. Um, it's very real. I'm playing the stuff. My kit's really making a bunch of noise, but the sound of a mixed kit in a mixed band, along with my kit that is just coming out of you know a camera microphone, does not sound good. And um, I didn't want to butcher the song, uh, but I'm playing the same stuff Justin Foley's playing in those videos. Dream Theater, I'm not because I'm not Mike Portnoy, and never will be. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to clear that up that there's a good reason my kit sound is not in those videos, like Andrea Vedrucci. Um, or for drum, um, he's a drummer on YouTube, and um, he mutes his kit sound. Now, if I had, you know, I mean, I've got a bunch of Sennheiser mics, but I'd rather not set them all up and then have to go through that process of trying to, you know, incorporate them. I just take out my kit sound; it's just as cool. Um, I want to talk about placement today, tom placement and snare placement. Um, uh, there's two types of placements, cockpit and flat stick. Um, basically cockpit is where you have your toms and you know facing almost completely directionally at you. Um, cymbals up high, you know, slanted down. Every, it just looks like a cockpit. Everything's kind of surrounding you, wrapping around you. Um, uh, and flat stick is the way I have my kit. I have things facing in a little, but my cymbals are mostly flat. Um, I face them in just a little bit so I don't break the edges because I am a hard player sometimes. Um, I mean, I go through about a pair of sticks a week. Um, but uh, the reason I go flat stick is because some people play, when you play in cockpit, sometimes you get this. Okay, if you look, see how that stick is hitting the drum. Okay? Might sound good on somebody's kit, but one, you're going to see like I just put a dent in my head. You're, you're not going to get the full tonality out of your head. Try that. If you're playing cockpit, you play it, and then try and do almost a rim shot where your stick's sitting like that on your tom. Listen to the sound you get out of it. You'll get your full shell sound. I've seen people play, and I say, try to straighten out your toms and play it, and they hit it and just... And you get this full-bodied, thick, loud noise that just sounds amazing when you hit it with a flat stick because you just don't get the power, you know. Just sounds soft and dull when you hit it like that, but when you get it, you get so much more attack. Um, same with the snare. Uh, my snare, I face in just a little bit towards me. Um, just because I, I used to play it flat, and it just didn't, um, it was too much slap, um, you know. Uh, now, I mean, uh, basically, you don't want to have it to the point where you're almost literally doing a rim shot and have so much attack, but there's got to be a good balance. And it's preference sometimes too, but I would mess with that. And with, um, there's different ways to place your whole kit too. Some people, when they start setting up their kit, bass drum straight forward, pedals kind and you kind of sit to the side. Your bass drum is the main direction. That's what faces out into the crowd. Um, me, my pedal, my double pedal is what decides, you know, it's the double pedal wraps around the snare, and that's the front. My bass drum is kind of offset, um, and my kit is, you know, I, I try not to, and nothing, you don't want to set up your kit to make it look cool. Set it up to where you can reach everything properly. Um, tom's about waist, cymbal's about shoulder length. <clears throat> I have mine a little lower just because sometimes I do fast fills and it works better. But um, half of it's got to be about comfort, but the other half, um, sometimes you need to adjust to doing it the right way because you can really um, put it, uh, you know, really extinguish a lot of your talent um, and, you know, possible playing ability if you set your kit up wrong. Um, uh, you know, that's, there's a lot of people who, like I said, that wrap their kit around them. Me, I've got it very level playing, very stock. Um, so that's the way I set my kit up, and, um, and uh, I think I'm going to just keep putting up videos of performance stuff, and occasionally, like this one, um, you know, talking about stuff. So I'll have another video up, um, probably just after this one, um, 
talking about something else. So, thanks for watching.